Hey everyone, so I've got the uh, Marvel Legends, 85 Years Wolverine. So this one I actually found, um, actually at Target, like I didn't have to buy it online or eBay or anything. Uh, I found it in stock. I actually got two. Uh, one of them I'll keep in the package and uh, figure I'd have one out just to break it open, check it out and stuff. Um, so here it is in the package. I really like this new box. It's like, it's like you see everything, looks really uniform. Um, I like that. Looks great in the package though. I like the blue and yellow. This is more like the, um, Astonishing Wolverine, Astonishing X-Men Wolverine. And this is kind of where these pictures come from, from the comics. So, got that. And there's like the little tag up here, which looks like it's, I don't even think it was on shelf. I actually did like an order pickup through Target when I seen online. So, I got lucky but um anyways i'm gonna crack it open and see how it looks all right so i got everything out of the package and um comes with a lot of accessories for wolverine usually it's not a whole lot um so obviously we got the mass head just on it um i think it looks really good like it's um almost kind of movie looking i know it's not like huge at members like very detailed um this is probably the best arms I've ever seen a Wolverine. It still has that texture to it, like his hair, but it's like more darker looking. Like it actually looks like hair this time. Um, do get the butterfly joints for this. So if we want to go in, we could go like that. So it goes in pretty good. Even like with the arms, you can kind of, you do get double jointed elbows too. So you can go pretty far in. So you can even touch claws if you want to like that, which is great. And then it goes out pretty far. So the only thing is this little rubber joint is attached somewhere in there. So if you want to go back, let's see. Yeah, that goes back pretty far. Still working it in. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. So you can go back that far. It's really good. And they did a good paint job as far as blending this into that. So just kind of blew all around, which matches um, this part of it. Um, and it's like a, it's not a crunch, but it's like a separate torso piece. And actually it's both. Like there's a crunch here. It's kind of hard to tell, but like there and there. And I can get it to move. So you can go about that far back and you can crunch a little bit too, which man, that adds some really great flexibility. Almost like the Spider-Man figures. Um, and then you have double jointed knees, um, all that. And this belt's like a separate piece of glued there. So that looks really good. Um, let's see. I wonder how stable he is if I stand him up like that. The only thing I don't like is I wish there was like a twist in the feet. It's just like that regular joint there. So you can kind of twist it, but it's, you know, it's basically like a separate piece that goes in here, kind of like the other figures they've had. So you can go like that. So that's pretty cool. Seems like it stands okay right now, knock on wood. And then here's the uh, masthead. Um, which looks great as well. A good snarl look. Um, not oversized ears. So more like this Tosh X Men comic book. And then we get fisted, unclawed hands, which we don't get a whole lot of. And then we get these two other hands, which I don't quite understand. So we get like a a left pointer finger and then a right up and hand. So, um, I'm gonna put the claw face on real quick for the mess. Wow. So that looks really good. I mean, just, you can really get some good poses in there. something like that you could um man it's really 
good. But I don't get the other ones. And people are saying like this is the best Wolverine figure ever. Um, I don't know. Ew, that kind of sucks. Did see like the paint? I don't know if this is going into it or what, but it's like, yeah, you can kind of see like the um, the elbow kind of rubs right here. I mean, it's covered up by this little shoulder pad, but you can see some of that paint kind of scrubs there, right about there, yeah. So you go far back, you might want to not rotate the shoulder so much or rotate them before, so, but... Yeah, it's really cool. Very bright, colorful Wolverine. Um, man, it's really poseable though. I mean, that's really impressive. I mean, as far as the head, it goes down like that, which looks great, but all the way up, it goes like that too. So if you're wanting them to like, do like kind of like a flying pose, you could definitely do that too. Um, and all the paint looks really solid all throughout. It's not like, I mean, this looks a little, bland compared to the rest of it um but not bad everything else looks pretty seamless like they really did a good job with the paint job here so yeah overall this is really good you know 25 dollars wolverine figure which is saying a lot nowadays so anyways i'm gonna try some cool poses real quick and uh be right back Not exactly sure what it is, a cool pose, but like you can kind of do like a, I did like a threatening pose. Like maybe if he's looking up at someone, like he's getting ready to attack on me, it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna get you, you know? So maybe that would work, I don't know. But since I got those popped off, I figured I'd do the uh, closer look at these. They have like the thicker claws. They had been using these for a while, but like the thinner ones, like they just kind of bend and get warped and all that, but these look really good. Um, usually stay pretty even. So that's a closer look at that and line up with the um, little pieces on the back of his hand. But yeah, this is great little rain figure. I'm not sure if it's the best one ever or anything like that, but it's definitely about as good as I remember. Anyways, that's all I have to say about it and uh, thanks for watching.